that, of course, at the end you present it to the reader, and the reader doesn't know what's behind it. But actually, there's something like 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 a karma thing that stories and images have, where you see, like, you can smell whether it has been messed with too much, or whether it's fresh, and whether it has this like here we worked and we went crazy and bam and here it is. Or whether it's like, oh, and then we just like shave a little bit off here, and then we add a little bit. And there's like a lot of images and stories I see out there where you go like, there was too much messing with it. It feels kind of indecisive, and it feels like it has kind of too many, it has like all the, all the edges are kind of rounded up. Um, and that is what, usually what happens when you have too much time, when a client has too much time. <laughs> Do you ever feel like you take on too much? Yes. <laughs> <coughs> However, I try to, there are certain things where I'll never, I'll always meet a deadline and I never, I never, or at least I hope I never take on too much in terms of like what I promised to the client. So client work did, did always at a level where I feel like I have to have another like 30-40% security margin. It's like sometimes that I kind of go like, oh, I wonder if I can turn this into an animation on top of everything, or like where I take on like projects for myself, I try to kind of get a lot of stuff uh, uh, done where it, where it really feels overwhelming, or then it's like kind of the amount of emails that come in and, and, and these uh, kind of things, but I have such a, a like ambition or maybe like moral fear of failure that I would n never mess with my client expectations. So if I promise you something by Wednesday, if I promise you two ideas by Wednesday, I want to make sure I have four ideas by Monday. And I never go into like, kind of like a dangerous area there where I go like, ah, whatever, it's like Wednesday night. And like, Ooh. I want to call them and say it's going to be Thursday because I think that's lethal in, in, in that job. You can never, ever do that. You ever stare at a blank page? I do a lot, a lot of staring <laughs> at blank pages. Uh, no, and I think it's, 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 it's crucial. It's like the... the, the there's two things. It's like the, the staring at a blank page, but there's also, I think, the important thing is like to just start, to get something on paper. It's very, very important. The, this whole like walking around the street and thinking about something, like A, it doesn't work for me, but B, uh, again, it's something where you, any idea that you have in your head is based on something that you've done before or that you've seen before. And it's only when you start writing, when you start drawing, when you start creating, where like all of a sudden you see a connection where there actually shouldn't be a connection. And I think that's the only way to kind of discover new ground is when you start building and creating and 